Well, many devices have uh, screens and uh, who likes when their screens get scratched? I personally hate it. So uh, a screen protector comes handy, but ordering a screen protector for every device, it's uh, time consuming. You have to wait a lot until it is uh, shipped or for some devices it's just not available. For example, for the AC remotes, you can't find the uh, screen protectors from there, from them. And for example, for the small display of the GoPro or for the a Sony action cam live view. So let's make uh, our own screen protector and let's make one that is absolutely clear and uh, glossy and has a very good protection. And actually this remote was my guinea pig and I have already a screen protector installed on it. And to tell you the truth, you can barely see that it's there and it gives a supreme protection from a scratches of any kind. It just wipes off uh, there. So uh, I use the PPF material for the screen protector itself and in order to cut it right you will need a knife, a pencil and a piece of uh, paper which are <laughs> items that can be found in almost any household. So this is the uh, Sony viewfinder for the action cam and you can actually see that it is recording uh, right now. So and also a cutting board is uh, highly recommended in order not to scratch your table. So first step would be to measure uh, and I would I want to cover the entire viewfinder not just the screen because the plastic here it's also that looks like something that can be scratched quite easily so i will take from this corner and wrap it all the way to the line and i will mark it with the pencil right here Okay, so now, and you will also need a, a ruler. Okay, so let's align it and make it stretch. to cut right okay so let's see if it is the correct length and yes it fits so now let's measure the, the width I guess a 90 degree ruler would be better here. Okay, I got it moved a little bit. Okay, so here we are and let's see whether it fits good. No, it's a bit too wide. So I will cut off a slice of it.
just want to leave a little bit of space so it would not stick over the edge in any situation okay so it fits and now let's take the PPF and measure it on here on it so I got this side right and I'll take my pencil just mark this side okay cool let's cut it A strong material so you have to press down pretty hard for it to come out okay and we got this side right and now let's mark the excess from here Great, so now let's take care of the corners and it's important to do it in order for it not to peel because the corner is the was a great place for stuff like this to start get peeling. So I'm just taking off a bit of a corner and make it a little like roundish. Some it's general, just a very small trim, just uh, for it not to be that uh, easy peelable from each and every corner. Okay, and uh, great. So now let's measure the actual template on the actual. It's important that it's not over wide here and I see it fits and great so now let's separate the backing film from the uh, from the actual PPF itself and you can see that it's uh, very clear now let's clean the device the screen we don't want any hairs on it or uh, dust could have snugged out okay here it is and now let's put it in place as accurately as I can okay just a little bit of stretching here and it goes right on spot so the cool thing about PPF that it is designed to take the shape of the actual thing so it can stretch a little and it can bend so you get a very good fit and it will release any air bubbles this is the next goal to get rid of all the air bubbles it okay just a 
to attenuate my kinetin contact with my finger with all the surface oh, there's some device and I can see already how it takes its shape and the shape of the buttons etc so since I'm recording on it live I am just careful with this record button I will work my finger around it and I will seal it okay so this screen now is clear and as protected as it can be can take my knife and do a little just a little trim here over the edge you barely can see that something is moving there okay that's uh, PPF is so cool okay so uh, uh, thank you for watching and if you have any questions please feel free to leave them in the comments and I will do my best to answer them